Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God, this is your daily devotional reading. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen White, August 28th, Copying Christ's Methods. Earthly pleasures vainly call me, I would be like Jesus. Nothing worldly shall enthrall me, I would be like Jesus. Be like Jesus, this my song, in the home and in the throng. Be like Jesus all day long. I would be like Jesus. Copying Christ's Methods When Jesus heard it, he saith unto them, They that are whole have no need of the physician, but they that are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Mark chapter 2, verse 17. No teacher ever placed such signal honor upon man as did our Lord and Master. He was known as a friend of the publicans and sinners. He mingled with all classes of society that all might partake of the blessings he came to bestow. He was found in the synagogue and in the marketplace. He shared the social life of his countrymen, gladdening with his presence the households of all who invited him, but he never urged his way uninvited. He was active to relieve every species of human misery that was brought to him in faith for relief. But he did not bestow healing power indiscriminately where there was manifested an independence and selfish exclusiveness that would give no expression to their sorrows nor ask for the help so much needed. All who came unto him in faith, he was ready and willing to relieve. Sorrow fled at his presence. Injustice and oppression withered beneath his rebukes and death the cruel spoiler of our sinful race, obeyed his commands. In every age since Christ was among men, there have been some who, while they professed his name, have pursued a course of seclusion or of pharisaical preeminence. But they have not blessed their fellow men. They have found no excuse in the life of Christ for this self-righteous bigotry for his character was genial and beneficent. He would have been excluded from every monastic order upon earth because of overstepping their prescribed rules. In every church and denomination are to be found erratics who would have blamed him for his liberal mercies. Those with whom God has entrusted his truth must so order their intercourse with the world as to secure to themselves a calm, hollowed peace, as well as a sacred and most thorough knowledge of how to meet men with their prejudices, where they are, and minister to them the light, comfort, and peace found in the acceptance of the truth of God. They should take, for example, the inspiring, authoritative, and social life of Christ. They must cultivate the same beneficent spirit which he possessed and must cherish the same broad plans of action in meeting men where they are. This Day with God, August 28th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.